All right, I've uh, over the past week or so, I've um, I've really kind of been working my way down the Arch Linux rabbit hole, and what I've come to find is that with every like, I'd say like what's considered a standard uh, component or standard piece of software within the Linux ecosystem, there seems to be some new alternative that's supposed to be like lightweight. And the term you hear a lot is bloated. That like all these old, like whether it be X11, uh, there's the new Wayland. Or with libc, our uh, GNU libc, we have Muscle. With Bash, we have Fish. With uh, Vim, we have NeoVim. And uh, like I can go down the list, but like it seems like with every, I'd say like standard piece of software, there's some new alternative and they're not wrong a lot of these like what we'd consider fundamental parts of Linux are bloated they're overgrown they're old as shit and they um we definitely need to clean things up a bit like the GNU project like that's when was that start like 1982 you know like we literally have decades upon decades of just legacy code just sitting in there um and it's it's become it's become unmanageable at you we've come to a point where you can't fix it you just need to start over you know like um that's, that's what the vim project did like if you look and if you try to download vim and you try to download neovim i think neovim's at like half the size with like much more functionality and that's because like one day like some guy was like fuck it let's just start over like let's just remake vim and he did um the neo vim project i'd say is extremely successful um and it's like i think we might be getting a little too uh we're overdoing it a bit you know i don't think we need to replace everything but um uh, like I, I i'm comfortable with bash um i i do like a posic a more posix compliant shell but i think i think bash is sufficient i wouldn't say bash is bloated um it's definitely old but like gnu bin utils gnu core utils all that shit is like covered in cobwebs like dusty um gcc same problem gnu libc any gnu project definitely needs to be cleaned up um and like at the time, like back in the eighties, I'm sure like like that definitely was revolutionary. And you still see like a lot of older guys within like the Linux community, like, oh, well, what's wrong with uh, GNU? It's like like because they look at GNU, the GNU project is like that's what started this all. But oh, we 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 gotta let go at some point, you know? Like GCC brags it's the largest open source project in the world at like fuck what is it like three million lines of code uh, that number might be completely off but it's definitely the largest open source project by far and i don't think that's anything to brag about like if i'm a new developer wanting to work on gcc i need to like get caught up on like decades of work and like know like like really get the scope of the project and that's impossible like pretty much the only guys who work on gcc are these like artifacts that have been using it since the 80s you know like it's unmanageable it's overgrown and we kind of just need to start over gcc is i it's the greatest compiler ever built but we got to start thinking about alternatives um same thing can go for, like the gnome project if you've ever tried to build a gnome software from source it's a fucking mess like gnome uses so many dependencies like i try to build gtk4 from source absolute mess do not recommend um and that's that's a big issue with a lot of linux programs is that i think we're getting too comfortable with having all these uh shared libraries since i'm i'm a bare metal program i love working with bare metal and i'm used to like writing all the code i use while it seems like like i was thinking about getting this vi uh, video editor 
And it was, came with, like, 50 fucking dependencies. Like, I'm not going to download all that shit. Like, we can't be depending on all this extra code. Because when those, like, for example, OpenGL. OpenGL is practically deprecated at this point. Vulcan's the new kid on the block. But if I build a game using OpenGL and then OpenGL becomes deprecated, I need to pretty much rewrite my code. Um, so I think we need to start thinking about uh, part swapping. We need to be able to swap out our parts quickly. You know, we can't build these massive fucking programs with a million dependencies. We need to be able to readily swap out parts and consider the fact that a lot of these, what we consider crucial parts of Linux, will age. Like, things become dated over time. The GNU project was great back in the 80s, but over time, it just, like, the dust, it just became dusty. And that's and that goes for any project. I don't think any anything's immune from this. It's just over time, like things age, things get wrinkles, and uh, I think we kind of just got to get used to that within software. It's like we can't have all these sta like System D, System D. I think a System D is weird because it seems like, like it, it's relatively new within the Linux ecosystem. It's, I think it came out in like twenty ten. But everyone's like, everyone says it's bloated. Um, and it's like alternatives like Run It or OpenRC. Like it seems like everyone wants to have like a alternative uh, in its system. And I think it's a good idea to consider using different in its systems because if become too dependent on System D, System D one day will be the old dinosaur that the GNU project is. And we have to be able to swap it out with some faster part, such as S6 or run it. Um, I think this is just good practice within software. It's like, be prepared for whatever you're using to one day become obsolete or become bloated, as the kids would say. But, uh... Yeah, so do I think like like Alpine Linux do it I think Alpine Linux is cool not using like like it doesn't use system D, doesn't use any GNU, you know, it uses muscle for its standard library, uses um fuck what's that called? Busybox for its uh core utils. And I think that's cool. Um I think that's a little overboard. I, I like having the GNU utils just because it is a bit of um, standard C across distributions. But we do have to be prepared that we need, like, there'll be a time where GNU is just unmanageable. We're probably reaching it right now. And we have to be prepared to um, use other pieces of software. You know, everything one day will be bloated.